Hey, thanks for watching this week's God is CEO Midweek Encourager. We're here to equip you, energize you, and encourage you to bring glory to God in all of your work. All of us need encouragement. We need confidence to step forward and make an impact. Well, what gives us the courage to make an impact? Well, if we look back at the history of the big moments for the people of God, what were some of the words that God spoke to the people that were meant to give them the courage to make an impact? Because all of us go to work every day. We want to make an impact. We want to stand up and glorify God. We want to love people. We want to make a difference in the world. Well, what gives us that courage? Well, we look back to John. Joshua chapter 1. In Joshua chapter 1, God's people are getting a new leader, Joshua, and they're about to enter into the promised land. And the words that God speaks of what's supposed to give them that courage is this. Joshua 1 verse 9, he says this, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So what's the promise? The promise is to Joshua, I'm going to be with you. You're not alone. Joshua was supposed to step into the promised land, lead God's people with courage. Why? Because Joshua was not alone. The Lord was with him. Now we fast forward to maybe the biggest moment, Matthew 28. Jesus meeting with his followers after the resurrection, about to give them their mission and say, hey, now go in the world and do this. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, he finishes with the Great Commission and he says what? Fear not, for I am with you. Again, the same promise. He'll be with them always to the end of the age. So the same promise to God's people entering the promised land, the same promise to the disciples about to start the church, the promise to give them the courage is what? You are not alone. Today, you are not alone. When you step into that sales office, you are not alone. When you step into the boardroom, you are not alone. Why? Because you have been sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. In Ephesians chapter 1, it tells us that those of us who have heard the gospel and believed the gospel, we've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. In other words, the Spirit of the living God is dwelling within us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it's talking about sexual immorality and talking about how we treat our bodies and sex. 1 Corinthians 6, it says that you are a temple. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who's dwelling within you. Now, the implications are all over for that. That Man, if the Spirit of God is with us, that means wherever we go, it's spiritual work. That's right. Wherever you go, it's spiritual work. Because you're not alone, wherever you go, it's spiritual work. Because the Spirit of the living God is with you. And so today, we can be strong and courageous. Why? We are not alone. We have the Spirit of the living God residing with us. The temple of God is showing up in boardrooms. The temple of God is showing up in dentist office. The temple of God is showing up in the bank. The temple of God is wherever God's people go. And today, God's people are farming. God's people are nursing. God's people are teaching. God's people are banking. God's people are building. And in all of those places, the temple of God is there. Why? Because God's people are not alone. You are not alone. The Holy Spirit is dwelling with you. And so today, what do we need to do? Two things. First, we need to acknowledge. Have you acknowledged? Holy Spirit, thank you for being here today. Remind yourself when you do that, that you are not alone. Acknowledging the Holy Spirit just acknowledges that the Spirit of God is there to counsel, guide, lead, transform. And then secondly, we need to submit to the Holy Spirit. Are you sensing the leading of the Holy Spirit and submitting where the Spirit is convicting, correcting, uh, whatever that might be. So today I want to encourage you, start by acknowledging the presence of the Holy Spirit. And then secondly, if you sense the Spirit working, submit to that leading. You are not alone. You have the Spirit of the living God residing with you wherever you go today. Go! Be strong and courageous and make an impact. Why? Because you are not alone. Everything you touch today is spiritual. You can't just be like, ah, oh, Holy Spirit, stay here for a little bit. No, no, no. Wherever you go, the Spirit of God is with you. Have a great week. You're not alone.